Hey guys. All right, triangles. Three angles in them. Some of you know this, some of you don't. But triangles, the if I knew the measure of each angle, they would add up to, uh, let's see, what are they gonna add up to? All right, so if I take this angle off, all right, and I take this angle off, and I'm gonna spin it around so it fits next to this one. Okay, and if I take this angle off, what happens there? Okay, cool thing happens. It makes a straight line. And a straight line, as we know, is 180 degrees. Supplementary, just like supplementary, they're related, okay? So that's the gist of today's lesson. That's the, the relationship we're focusing on, okay? Triangles add up to 180 degrees. So if I was looking at this triangle right here and I know this angle is 80 and this angle is 68 and I wanna know what X is, I know they add up to 180, so I'll work backwards. They work, they add up to 180 if I subtract off 80 and I subtract off 68, I get 32. Now, some of you do this a different way. Some of you take 80 plus 68 and get 148 and then subtract 180 minus 148 and get your 32 that way. Uh, either way is fine with me, no problem. All right, just depends on what you wanna show in terms of work, okay? Now, sometimes your diagram only seems to have one number in it. Like this only seems to have a 36 in it, no other numbers, okay? 180 minus 36, uh, that's X, this is a square. Subtract square, no, remember square means 90. Okay, so this will equal 54. Again, some of you prefer to take 90 plus 36 and get 126, and then 180 minus 126 equals 54. Doesn't matter, either way, either way. Okay, all right, then we get into the ones that are algebraic, okay? So in a triangle, here again, I'll reinforce this, triangles add up to 180 degrees. So if I've got one angle labeled as 4x, that's angle A, Another angle labeled as 2x minus 6, it's angle B, and a third angle of 4x plus 6, okay, then those angles add up to equal 180. Okay, then I need to combine like terms, so 4x plus 2x plus 4x makes 10x. Now, interesting thing happens here. It's not gonna happen on all your problems, but it happens on this one. I have a minus six and a plus six. They actually cancel each other out, okay? So I get 180, okay? That only happens if your numbers are the same and opposite signs, okay? If I owe $6 and I get $6, then they cancel each other out, okay? Divide by 10, divide by 10, and x equals 18. All right, then back to same old, same old, what we've been doing. Angle A is four times 18, which is 72. Angle B is two times 18 minus six, which is 30. And angle C, is four times 18 plus six, that's 72 plus six is 78. 
All right, so how do I know I did this right? Well, we said the angles are supposed to add up to 180 degrees. So that's what we're doing. We're checking, do these angles, question mark, do these angles add up to 180 when we're done? Okay, that's what's supposed to happen. And it turns out that they do. One more. All right, so angle A is 2x, angle B, 2x plus 16, and angle C, x plus 4. And our angles add up to equal 180. Okay, so 2x plus 2x plus 1x is 5x. And then I have a plus 16 and a plus 4, that's a plus 20, equals 180. Two step. Okay, so x is 32, sub in. Two times 32 is 64. Then we have two times 32 plus 16, that's 80. And lastly, we have 32 plus four, 36. And again, how do you check it? 64 plus 80 plus 36, and we're asking ourselves, do they add up to 180? That's what you're checking. There you go. Thank you very much, and have a good day.